Hey YouTube, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. This is Thomas with Mr. Fix-All Home Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm up at the land. It's 4th of July weekend. I uh, want everybody to enjoy themselves this weekend and, and have fun with the fireworks. And make sure that you don't start any fires. But anyway, here's what I've done. You know, of course my water tank, the tower that I built, I put the water tank on it. And now I finally got the last piece of tin for the other side over there. I had it, there was one missing. I had only three and I needed four. So I bought one to Lowe's this morning, bought two tins, put them up there, and then I connected my gutter. And now I've got a self fed. There, let me get up here to the vantage point. There we go. There's the gutter. And then, of course, I put those last pieces those two pieces right there or that one piece but there's two pieces there they weren't as long as this I couldn't find 12 foot sections I can only find uh, eight foot sections so anyway I stuck them on stuck the gutter on taped it up to a real cheap you know five dollar flex tube and then they're feeding it right into the tank and it goes down there far enough that it'll you know I need to clean it out though a little nasty in there that's okay I get some chlorine, some chlorine tablets like you clean pools and shock it and it'll do fine. Okay, well, there you go. All right, well, another problem. I came up here and the awning's been ripped off the, uh, the RV. Let me get down so I don't kill myself here. Bear with me. All right, but anyway, like I was saying, like an idiot, I left the bloody uh, canvas open or out, and a heavy wind must have came by in the last few days. I haven't been up here in about five days and literally tore the awning completely off. It's gone. I mean, just ripped it right out of its rod holders. There's the rod holder that holds it from the top. There's the yellow one, and there's nothing. Well, I gathered all the pieces, came back here, and you can see the damage. I mean, just destroyed it. There it is, all bent to hell and back. Well, hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Well, this gives me an opportunity to uh, build something else. I can go ahead and build the shelter in front of the RV, and uh, I, I, you know, I kind of wanted to do it anyway in a weird way. I didn't want their awning, of course, to get torn off. But uh, what was happening is the awning from the RV wasn't coming out far enough. So basically what happened is half the deck would be covered. Like right about here, the awning would only come right in this area right here. And then everything else would get soaked. And, and you can see, I mean, it's just soaked anyway. No matter what I do, it's going to get soaked out here. But uh, let me pick this up. Gotta try to get this dried off. All right, I must have had a we must have had a pretty big storm up here, but anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do is just build me a shelter here and uh, extended all the way out to this point here, so you know I can be way beyond the porch and on a rainy day, and then pitch it a little bit more because the sun is an evening setting sun and I'll tell you what the awning didn't do nothing to protect us uh, from the glare here on the on the deck it was just the evening sun was brutal you almost had to go inside so I'll create some sort of bigger structure and something that'll hold up a little bit better but uh anyway yeah some progress fourth of July weekend it's a Friday and uh I got everybody caught up sorry I'm out of breath I've just finished this project I came up here, first thing I saw was a damaged uh, awning. I was like, oh, crap, man, you, I can't believe that. But uh, then I decided, well, let's get busy. Let's go ahead and build what we got to build up here. And, and I really like that. I really like what I've done here. This is kind of cool. It's simple, nothing fancy. You know, a four-foot water tower, four-foot tote high, uh, nine-foot pitched roof, you know, and the height... Right across here is eight foot, nine foot on the back. I mean, nine foot on the back of the roof. So that should feed right in there. Plenty of gravity, plenty of force. And it's supposed to be raining all weekend long too. So that's cool. 
Uh, we're actually supposed to have rain, I think, like uh, Saturday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Uh, it's really humid out here. I'm sweating my balls off, I lie to you not. Um, and I've only been out here a couple hours. And uh, it's just humid. It's, it's just wet, really wet out here. And I don't know if I'm going to stay. I'm going to pill around in the shop for a little while and see if I can get some stuff done. Because I'm just about out of lumber and supplies up here. So I really need to get, I need to replenish that. Uh, as you can see, I had a monster stack of uh, wood here. I mean, a monster. And of course, that's how I built everything, all this fencing. And oh, yeah, I know what I wanted to show you. Bear with me. I built this uh, last week and I never even showed you guys. I started rebuilding the corner of the fence. I <sighs> have yeah, my new trash pile. That's what came out of the front of the farm. Those two big burn piles. I pulled the crap right back there, but I built this. And uh, I know you guys didn't know this, but I really just stopped with this post. When I was building this fence all the way down through here, I came and only sunk this pole in just for the gate. So then I came over here, like I said last week, and put this up because if you look right down there, there's the property flag right there. So now this is the start, the leg. This is the leg of this fence going towards that corner of the property. And then of course, this is the corner stake. You gotta have an easement. You gotta have an easement between property lines. So I'm way within which is cool, it's supposed to be five to seven inches. And then there's the other stake down there. So this fence here is already going up too. And uh, anyway, so that starts this little corner going and uh, that'll block off, because this is all the other guy's property over here and that's his old house back up in there. You can barely see the chimney right there, but he's all blocked in. And uh, then I've got my little gate already set up. So that way I can get in the back of the farm and in front of the farm. Get to the compound and then just drive right through over here and it'll be self-contained. Once I start running a fence all the way down and connect it in down there, uh, then I'll run it all across here. And then of course I need to start my corner over there, but then there'll be a completed front. Cool. All right guys, happy 4th of July. Like I said, uh, you know, when you, when, you, when you own a farm or you're prepping or you're doing anything uh, to stockpile, uh, to, you know, get your plan B going, get it ready, there's a lot of work involved. I lie to you not. I've spent some money, but not a lot of money, but uh, enough to where, you know, what this infrastructure can provide for me, uh, I think I've uh, been pretty cost efficient so far. And uh, I have a lot of you guys been, uh, you know, chiming in on saying, God, I wish I had that. Oh, man, awesome. You know, thanks a lot for all my new female subscribers, uh, too. Uh, one in uh, Scotland and another lady uh, in Oklahoma. And please correct me if I'm wrong in whatever state. And uh, then I there, believe there's another one in Alaska and in Oregon. And I appreciate you ladies. I didn't realize that there was a, a big uh, presence of the female prepper community, and I'm glad there is. I knew there was a lot of videos out there with uh, women uh, doing uh, a lot of cool stuff, you know, I mean, adventure stuff, but really, you know, grinding it out, uh, rural land, you know, going from the, starting from the very scratch. You know, I thought this might be a little bit too uh, uh, daunting of a situation, but no, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm very surprised, I, I'm, I'm pleased, I'm actually happy about it, and thank you very much for uh, putting comments on my channel, and of course, I subscribe to some of you ladies too, and put comments on your channels, and I want that open communication line, I really do, I appreciate you, and, 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 and hopefully my message gets across, and, and I want your message, I'm already learning a lot from y'all, so that's really cool too, so everybody, you guys have a great 4th of July, and this is Thomas with Mr. Fix-All Home Garden signing out out of Eflin, North Carolina, and I'm going to head back to the city and uh, chill out and watch the fireworks uh, this weekend. Okay, you guys have a great day. Bye, YouTube.